Hello friends, welcome back to another PTS video. Today we're going to be testing the damage for the railways and we're going to be covering anti-armor and quads because that is the biggest talk right now. Now from what I've been hearing is that the anti-armor isn't as strong as it used to be. The 50 crits aren't good anymore. They're not as strong as they used to be so it's not worth running. As well as the quad railways, I guess the biggest thing is that it's the slower reload um, which is easily, you know, manageable if you have faster reload or if you decide to use level 3 ground pounder but yeah so just from that we're going to be trying out an anti-armor 50 crit 25 lvc railway as well as a quad 50 crit 25 lvc railway with a very boo-boo build because my pc character isn't as leveled as my xbox character so he won't have as much but it's going to be the basics for the damage perk cards but with that let's go ahead and head straight into the uh perk cards now what we have here we're going to show you guys the effects first we have a full engineer engineers set with all of our mutations active because since i'm running this solo i like to have my min max um stats so i have no negative effects but for this starters we're going to be running zero buffs just our mutations our armor and our perk cards now the reason for this is because i have noticed that a lot of people don't like using buffs which is fine but with the changes of the bosses now with the defenses and HP going up, it's you might have to change your playstyle just a little bit. But for the players who are curious about not having to use buffs and just build in the weapon, we're going to be doing some damage to Earl with both weapons. And then we're going to be applying all of our buffs to fully min-max and see what kind of damage we can do and the difference between the damage for the weapons. So as you can see, we have the anti armor 50 crit 25 LVC Railway, that's an automatic, and the quad 50 crit 25 LVC Railway, which is also an automatic. All the same mods, everything is perfectly the same. But I just noticed that I'm going to have to repair my weapon, because, uh, yeah, I'm going to need it. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the perk cards. So, you might be wondering why do I have these unused perk points or perk points. It's because there is a current bug in the PTS that if you try to equip a certain perk card, it will not allow you. For example, blocker. If I throw on blocker, it removes my bandolier. If I try to put it back on, it keeps removing it. Now, since I can't use blocker, I will be taking a ton of damage, and I do get down maybe once or twice, but um, yeah. Anyways, so with our perk cards, we are going to be using all of our uh, commando perk cards with level 2 ground pounder, tank killer, and concentrated fire. This is the normal setup that I use in live servers. We have our chem feed and revenant, which is extra damage if I get downed an extra um, duration on my chems, but also all of our sneak and crit perk cards. For our specials, it's nothing special, <laughs> unfortunately, um, but we are going to be using follow through because we will be holding sneak, believe it or not. So to th start things off, we are going to be using the quad 50 crit railway first, and then we're going to be switching over to the anti-armor, and then we're going to be switching uh, to full buffs. But first, let me pop a scout banner because just in case I do get down, I won't have to restart the fight. And also, last thing, just in case uh, <laughs> I get any comments of the reason why you're dying so much or whatever is because your armor's broken. Well, you are right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, fix all of our armor up real quick. But yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get right to it. Quad 50 crit railway. I'm going to pop our crouch so we are in sneak. And then we'll go ahead and do some damage. So yeah, gonna do our first shot. And now we are hitting for 458 for our crits, or 458 for our base damage, 796 for our crits. And sneak 863, it has gone up because of tenderizer and follow through. But as you can clearly see, we're hitting pretty damn hard. Compared to the live servers, we're not hitting 400s with the quad with our just initial shots. Maybe it's like maybe 100, 200. And then our crits, normally, we would probably hit for roughly around the same. So nothing really has changed there. But we're going to go ahead and clear out some of these guys so we can uh, keep our sneak. Keep shooting. Still hitting for 700, but once we're out of sneak, we're hitting for 576. So it cuts our damage quite a bit. Sneak is very, very useful. And I know there's a lot of folks who don't like it. But also, I understand that in public servers, it's a lot harder to hold. Which I get, I understand. But this is purely just to show like the damage and what you can do, potentially do, if you're able to, you know, get the sneak or if you don't want to use buffs. So 
So now we're going to switch on over to the anti timer 50 crit now. We're going to try and see if we can get back into sneak, but um, I have noticed a little something weird. Um, even when I'm using a silenced weapon, just roaming about in the PTS, if I get found, it's really, really difficult for me to get back into sneak. But thankfully, we managed to make it back. And let's go ahead and stack a little bit of that adrenaline. And then try and see if we can get our shots right onto our buddy here. And for our first crit, we're hitting for 1100. Not bad. We're hitting for 692, 340, 807. Those are pretty good numbers for the anti armor. And you can definitely see that the numbers have gone up compared to the quad. But unfortunately, we ended up dying. So we're going to drop back down. But this time, we are going to pop all of our buffs. Now for the buffs that we're going to use, we are an herbivore, so we will be taking a Blight Soup for the 100 crit. It could be 125 if we had a teammate. We're going to be using Guns and Bullets 3 for the additional 100 crit, an Overdrive for 30 crit and 15% damage, as well as a Small Guns Bobblehead. And to top all of that off, we're going to be throwing an Endanger All onto Earl. Yes, it's one shot, but less resistances always helps, especially in this current state of the bossing. Now I will be using a little bit of canned coffee, it's not necessary, and actually what's very nice is that with a slower fire rate, it's even less coffee for you to use, so it's another plus. But there we go, we got our endanger all shot, now we're using the quad, let's see what kind of damage we're doing, 1269, 1198 for our crits, 503 for our base shots, already seeing a massive increase to our damage just by using buffs in the endanger all shot. Now we have been doing all of this damage. I. It's nice, right? But the health and... Well, I guess it's just the health. But the health of the boss, at least for Earl, is significantly greater. If you put all this damage in the live servers, this guy would be gone. There was no shot for him living with this much damage being put into him, even if it was at a faster fire rate. So I had to cut a little bit because I was trying to get myself back into sneak so we can see the sneak damage for the anti-armor 50 crit railway. But we managed to do it, so let's go ahead and pop a couple crits and see what kind of damage we're hitting. We're hitting for 1991, 1859, 1991, 1859. We're hitting almost 2,000 crit damage with the anti-armor 50 crit. Now one thing I noticed a little bit too late while recording this is that I am not critting every other shot. I'm... I think it's... Actually, honestly, I have no clue. Um, this is what I normally run in the live servers, and I'm able to crit every other shot, so it's a little odd. It might be because I'm not in the team. That's probably what it is. Now, unfortunately, I didn't finish the Earl. I got a little... Uh, it took a little bit too long for me, so I will try to complete the next one when I try more weapons, but um, I decided to go to some random locations and show off the damage to, you know, the world enemies, I guess and to show that there's nothing wrong with the gun. The fire rate may be slower, and as a quad, the faster reload may be, well, not as fast, but the weapon still hits. The weapon is still very, very strong. And again, when it comes to the reload for the quad, uh, the what, what you can do is hopefully get a faster reload on it through the new crafting system when it when and if it does release. Or, if you have a already quad 50 crit faster reload, keep it, because it will come in handy. And with the faster reload, you will still be able to run the basic 3 commando, tank killer, two, level 2 ground pounder, and one uh, level 1 concentrated fire setup without any worry. But if you don't have it and you're willing to change, level 3 ground pounder. But that about covers it friends, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found the information useful and I would really really love to know your guys' opinions whether you've experienced it yourself on PTS or just maybe things that you've heard from other YouTubers, content creators, and so on. Now one thing I want to go over again real quick is that I understand that people do not like to use buffs, maybe not like to use in danger roll, but let alone the whole shebang. Some people just do not prefer that. They'd rather have their perks and their gun and just take it from there, which is perfectly okay, and you can still technically do that, as you saw with the railway. Now, we got to keep in mind the idea around this whole season, or at least for the bosses just in general, is to prevent melting. That is the goal of what Bethesda is trying to do, as stated in one of their PTS notes, which makes sense and is completely fair. I get that. 
Now, instead of being able to solo a boss by yourself in a public server, I mean, everyone's going to be running strong weapons anyway. So if you have doing a queen and you have 15 people running anti-armor quad quid railways with a build with or without buffs, it's going to go down fairly quick. Same with earls and probably not goliaths. Um, those guys are a whole different level of pain. But anyways, um, I'll be covering more weapons, maybe posting some more videos on other meta weapons that people might be worried about. But I'll also be doing a lot of live testing on either Twitch or here on YouTube. I usually stream them both at the same time, so whichever you prefer, I'll leave a link below in the description. But with that, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy hunting, good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!